嘿，大家好，我叫石老师。今天我们要学习十一个很有用的字。那我们第一个字呢？个，个，个 has the exact same pronunciation as individual, as in 一个人 However, its meaning is each or every. Now note, this is not the same as 所有 nor 每 nor 都 This has its own usage and its own set of words it goes with. And we'll talk more about that in the word section. Now our next character has a 天 instead of a 口 at the bottom. This is pronounced 背背背 means preparation or to prepare also in some cases an installation bay to prepare next we have u u u means matters or affairs particularly relating to some kind of business or occupation u and last in the set 条，条，条 means twig or strip. Now this is typically used as a measure word for things that are long and thin, such as pencils, a strip of cloth, etc. Even a river. 条 Our next three characters are all based on the character 欠 which means to owe or be lacking or deficient of something. So our first character, c, c, e, c. Now that initial sound is just like in tong, from, falling tone with an e, c. This character means times, as in the number of times that you do something. 一次，两次，三次 Next, 引，引。饮 means beverages. Now you'll notice that it has the 食 meaning food radical on the left, and that indicates to us 饮 has something to do with food. Beverages. 饮 Our last character in the set. 软软软软 This character means soft. Or flexible, malleable, etc. Typically referring to something's physical quality of softness. Ruan. Now we have five additional characters that we have to learn. The first of which being, Jong. Jong. Jong means type or kind, as in a classification of something. E Jong, one type. 三种 three types. 种 Next we have 剑剑剑 means a part or component. Now note it is literally a person next to a cow, but its meaning is actually part or component. It is also often used as a measure word for things relating to documentation. 剑不，不，不 means clothing. However, it is often associated with service, as in a service industry, a service worker, etc. 不 Lastly, 一，一 pronounced exactly like the number one. This character means again cloth or clothing. E. That is all for our characters. So our first word today, 各种 all, every, and type or kind. This is how we will say all kinds or a variety. For instance, on the street you might see 各种车 all kinds of cars. 各种服务 service in this case and affairs. 
This is how we say service, the concept of service, as in a restaurant service or the service on an air flight. Fu wu. Jun bei. Precision, preparation. This is how we say to prepare. This is the ideal word for to prepare for something. Jun bei, shang ke, prepare for class. Mian tiao. Face strips. Mian, as we learned in a previous class, also means wheat. So wheat strips or noodles. Mian tiao. Tiao jian. Strips of part. Again, separate from the character meanings a little here. This word means circumstances or conditions. An example, sheng huo tiao jian. The circumstances or life conditions. Gong zuo tiao jian. The working conditions. This is how this is typically used. Tiao jian. Wan jian. Written language. Parts. This means documents or documentation. Wan jian. Ruan jian. Soft parts is software. Ruan jian. Shang tzu. Last time. So literally, last time. Last time I went to the mall. Shang tzu. And its opposite. Xia tzu. Next time. Xia tzu. Yin shi. Beverages and food. This is the word for all types of edible items or food items, including beverages. Yin shi. Lung yin. Lung yin. Cold beverages, cold drinks. Lastly, yi fu. Yi fu. This means clothing, so cloth clothing. Note here the fu is normally pronounced with a rising tone. However, in this word, it loses its tone and becomes a ghost. Yi fu. That is all for our words. For today's grammar and sentences, we are just going to go over some sentences and useful phrases using the vocabulary we learned today. So, we didn't learn any characters that put forth any particular grammar principles. However, we can use the words we learned to make some fundamentally useful sentences. So our first, 我们有各种衣服。你想看什么样的? 我们有各种衣服。你想看什么样的? So we have all kinds of clothes. What would you like to see? So in Chinese, we wouldn't really say 你想看什么? It sounds a little strange, like what do you want to look at? The answer to that would be clothes. So what they ask is what kind or what type of clothes would you like to see? Now note, in the second part, 你想看什么样的? Ifu is not said again. And we have this weird kind of dangling the at the end of Shama Yang. That dangling the actually implies Ifu. It implies that what type or what kind of clothing. And a Chinese listener will know this because we said Ifu in the first clause. Another sentence. I ni chuang zheng shi yi dian yi fu. You should wear a bit more formal clothes. And is just like, okay, like, do you get it? Chuan here means to wear. It is the go to wear uh, word for putting on clothing. Chuan yi fu. Chuan zheng shi yi dian de yi fu. Hao bu hao. Our next sentence. 上次我没有准备好。可是这次我准备好了。上次我没有准备好。可是这次我准备好了。
So last time I didn't prepare enough. However, or but this time I am prepared. I am well prepared. Well prepared. So note, 上次 takes the meaning of last time, and that functions just like 上个月, last week, 上个星期, this week. Another sentence. 我希望我们以后能再见一次面. 我希望我们能再见一次面. I hope or I wish that we are able to or can see each other again. I hope that we can see each other again. Notice a peculiarity here. 见一次面. In order to talk about something happening again or one more time, in Chinese, that yi ci will go right after the verb and will be preceded, the verb will be preceded by zai. So again, see one more time. That's how we have to say this in Chinese. So if you wanted to say go running again, zai pao yi ci bu. How do you think you would say eat that one more time or eat that again? Our next sentence. So this restaurants or here, the fu wu service is better than that one's. Now we say zhou dao. Zhou dao means thoughtful, considerate. It's a way of saying specifically with service or someone's attention to something that they really were careful and attentive. And also note, we say jia. Julie the fu wu bi na jia. Zhou dao. Jia here is the measure word we use for restaurants. That's how we know what we're talking about is a restaurant. The idea is that restaurants in China are typically opened by a family. So you can say that family's restaurant. Na jia fan guan. One more example, our last example today. Ni bi jiao xi huan he re yin hai shi leng yin. Ni bi jiao xi huan he re yin hai shi leng yin. Do you prefer or do you relatively prefer cold drinks or hot drinks? Oh, hot drinks or cold drinks. 你比较喜欢热饮还是冷饮? So, the only eccentricity to notice here, 比较. Our use of 比较 tells me that I know you like both cold and hot drinks, but I'm asking which one do you like more? And this is one of the ways to express that, using 比较. Note, if I just said, 你喜欢热饮还是冷饮? It implies that whichever you do not select, you do not like. 比较 allows us to say you like both, but which one more? That is all for our sentences. I would encourage you to go back, look through our vocabulary, and find some example sentences that you can produce yourself to see how well your understanding is. 大家, that's all I have for you. I'll see you in class, and as always, 加油!